Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. Today we are going to move away from the pasta dishes and try something a little simpler. We're going to be uh, using a recipe uh, for a sandwich that we found in Simple Cooking, um, one of Antonio's cookbooks. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the ingredients. So we are going to need about four tablespoons of milk. We will need four slices of thick country bread. Then we will need two large slices of buffalo mozzarella, as well as some plain flour to dust with. To the flour, we will be adding a little salt, and we will need three eggs, which will be whisked, as well as some olive oil for shallow frying. If you don't have olive oil, you can use a vegetable oil, that would be just fine. So we are going to try um, both a regular mozzarella sandwich as well as a buffalo mozzarella sandwich, just so we can see the difference. We've never actually tried the buffalo mozzarella, but we've heard it's awesome. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to give it a shot today. Yeah, we'll see what it tastes like. So before we get started on making the sandwich, we are going to have a little comparison between the regular mozzarella that you can get in just about any store which is made out of cow's milk and then the buffalo mozzarella which is obviously made from buffalo milk now this is a water buffalo not an american buffalo okay so let's feel the texture of the cheese and yeah. see what do you think is there a difference well this is hard this seems a little bit denser mm -hmm. i don't know a little bit it's definitely softer when you okay. feel it. Yeah. Um, should I cut a little piece maybe? Yeah, let's see. Can, okay. For sure, there is a huge difference in texture. Mm -hmm. This seems almost coarse. It's not coarse, but it seems almost coarse in comparison. And a little bit stiffer, a little bit, hmm, just a little bit, a little bit different. This is nice and soft. This is almost like you just take it and just stretch it. This seems like you could do that but it seems like a little bit so this there, there's a difference for mm -hmm. sure okay well let's try it and see okay. what it tastes like let's take a little piece here a little for you a little for me a little for you a little for me so I'm gonna go ahead and hand you the two cheeses so which one's which you'll be able to tell this one is the regular mozzarella and that is the buffalo mozzarella. Okay. There's even a slight difference in color almost, it seems like. Mm, yeah. Not, not a big one. It's like the buffalo mozzarella has a much silkier texture. Silkier, that's a good yeah. adver mm. adjective, yes. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit different, you can tell. Okay, so I'm trying the regular mozzarella, which okay. obviously I'm used to the taste. We'll try that again. Mm -hmm. A little spongy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really good, but it's a little spongy. Much, much, much better than the kind you get shredded or something like mm. that. Oh, yes, for sure. It's obviously fresh mozzarella, relatively fresh. And then the buffalo. Let me cut a little bit of mm. piece here. Wow, that's actually quite good. Mm. It's very tender. It almost melts in your mouth. It's almost like maybe... You know, a T-bone steak versus filet mignon. Hmm. It's a little bit, you know, they're both good in their own right, but mm -hmm. the filet mignon is just a little bit tender. Just it, There's a difference, mm -hmm. okay, for sure. Um, they taste similar, but definitely a difference in taste. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, I definitely like the buffalo. Um, it's great. Very nice texture and taste there. And I can see why it's favored in certain dishes. Um, so, before we go ahead, we are going to slice a few nice slices of the buffalo mozzarella which would be enough to cover the inside of the sandwich kind of I mean a couple each would probably be fine maybe it's pretty interesting it's so it's so soft it's almost difficult to cut mm. that's probably sufficient I'm sure think. that's just fine okay. okay so we'll clean up there a little bit so that we can start preparing the sandwiches Okay, the first step is we're going to take our bread, 
And we're going to dip it in the milk, correct? Yep, briefly, both, briefly both on sides, both sides. Just, just briefly, just kind of a, just kind of a, maybe I'll do it this way. Mm -hmm. And then just one side in flour, correct? Yes, okay. and then you want to just dip it in there and then dust it off, just shake it off. You want a bunch of flour on there. Something like that, maybe? Yeah, or you can just give it a little shake, whatever works for you. Yep, okay. that should do it. Shake, rattle, and roll. Mm -hmm. Do that, and then we'll, we're going to do that to each slice of bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't want to soak the bread with the milk, milk, you just kind of slightly want to wet it. Mm -hmm. Mostly just to have it, everything stick together there. And then shake it off. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that with all four slices. Okay, we did have to add a little bit more milk, I suppose, that recipe. You know, maybe it's, a, you know, depending on the size of the bread you're using. Mm -hmm. um, this one did call for a little bit more, um, which is fine, because we had more milk. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, um, again, just kind of dust it in the, in the flour a little bit. And, on the one side. And dust it just on one side, dust it off, and I will set that aside. And now, um, we did add the salt to the flour, so the salt, um, the flour is seasoned. Okay, so that was almost perfect for the amount of milk we needed. And so, um, again, there's a little spout of milk flour on it. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. Dust her off. Okay. Yeah. And there's our bread portion. That part is done. Okay, the next step, and I think you can see so far, this is actually a fairly simple um, dish to make. We're going to go ahead and put the buffalo mozzarella onto our bread. Oh, that looks so good. And you can see if you look at the cutting board there that um, the buffalo mozzarella definitely left a bit more of a liquid residue there. Um, so I don't know if it's a little bit milkier. I'm not sure. Okay, this is not the finished product yet. So don't <laughs> yes. it, it's starting to look like a sandwich though. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to go ahead and do is dip each side in egg. That's probably pretty good. And then we'll set that aside and we will repeat the... Yeah, repeat the process with the traditional mm -hmm. or more common, and maybe that's the right word, more common mozzarella mm -hmm. that we're mostly used to. And the reason why we're trying the regular mozzarella is that buffalo mozzarella is not necessarily that easy to find. We're pretty fortunate. We have a nice little Italian deli in town, and um, we've got ours there. There could be more places in town that sell it. We don't know, but mm -hmm. it is not in your normal grocery store. Yeah, it's not that easy to find. So we, we just wanted to see that if in a pinch we could use the regular and if it would be any good. Okay, so so far so good. Okay, now we are going to set up our skillet with the oil and we will see how that goes. So we are ready to start frying. Um, it's going to be a shallow fry, so we only need to add enough oil to cover the bottom of the skillet generously. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. It's say generously, so I'm not going to be stingy with the I think that's probably pretty good. That looks pretty good. So we'll get it, go ahead and start the pan. And we want to heat it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We do have a temperature, uh, handheld temperature gauge here, thermometer. Right, um, or 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, just it's working. This should heat up fairly quickly. Yeah, and we don't want to get it too hot um, when you're cooking the sandwich. You want to give the cheese ample time to melt. Okay, let's check and see where we are. What do we say Fahrenheit? 350? 350 Fahrenheit. We have a little bit of ways to go yet. But again, it should, it's not a lot of oil. It should go fairly quickly. Correct. And with olive oil in particular, you don't want to get it too hot because it breaks down a little faster than We're some oils. Almost up to 200. So it won't be too much longer and we'll go ahead and, and start the cooking or the frying. So we are using um, a surface thermometer. Um, a tip that Antonio has in his cookbook is that you can use a tiny cube of bread and pop that in the oil to see if it's up to temperature. If it is, um, it will bubble nicely as it is now. I would say that we're probably up to temperature now. And it will turn brown fairly quickly so it's pretty easy to judge. So we're going to go ahead and start frying. We're going to do the buffalo cheese, mozzarella cheese sandwich first. Okay. 
So we're going to go ahead and put that in the oil. If I can do this without burning myself, that would be a plus. Okay. And it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know if there's a set time. I guess however long it takes is how long it takes. Well, you want to get the outside nice and brown and nice and crispy. It's got to have a nice crunch to it because the inside is going to be fairly soft. But you do want that cheese melted. You want so the it's cheese melted. Long enough to melt the cheese, but you don't want to burn it. So that's going to be the real trick. Nice golden brown there. That looks really delicious. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might, we want that outside nice and crispy. And we want that texture and that pan. crunch. Nice and warm. It's kind of tricky to do that in a small pan, but that's kind of nice golden brown as well. Mm -hmm. It will flip it one more time, I think. Yeah, and then we'll get started on the second one. Just as a matter of interest, did Antonio in his recipe give a time? How long it should take? How long it should fry? No, I don't believe okay, it. So I guess you just kind of play that by ear or by sight. And what How do we think? Does it look pretty good? I'm going to flip it one last time. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> it is. I don't think we want it a whole lot darker than that. No. But I think it's ample time to get that cheese nice and melted in there. Your cutting board there in case you need it. Well, I want to say this one's probably done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and do the buffalo mozzarella fried sandwich, or actually the fried mozzarella first. And then we're going to go ahead and do the regular mozzarella. Probably the cheese. Yeah, lose a piece. We've got a runner trying to escape. Mm -hmm. I think this regular or cow's milk mozzarella is not quite as melt, you know, it doesn't melt quite as quickly. cheese came out, but I don't think enough to make a difference. There's a nice color to it. It looks good. Does it look like it's melting okay? It does, it does. I don't think it's quite ready yet though. Mm -hmm. Flip it again. With this one, I'm almost tempted to put a lid on top. Yeah, we might have to. I'm going to flip that a little bit soon. Yeah. So we're cheating a little bit and putting a lid on um, just to see, make sure that we get that mozzarella nice and melted. Okay, I think this is probably just about done at this point. Oh, that looks great. So the one of you left is the buffalo mozzarella. And I can tell you that's melted. Mm -hmm. It sure looks like it. He's left, our right. My left, your right. Okay, and then um, and turn that off. we are going to slice into that and see what we think. And we'll be back in a sec. Okay, here's the finished product. This that I'm cutting now is the buffalo mozzarella fried mozzarella sandwich. We're going to give mm, that looks pretty you. Good. That looks pretty good. And you can see that on the camera. That looks pretty tasty. So now, buffalo, and then we're going to do a side by side comparison with a traditional or regular mozzarella, cow's milk mozzarella sandwich. Cut there. And that. Mm, that also melted nice pretty and good. Ooh, nice and stringy. Mm -hmm. It looks delish. So it does look very, very good. 
can go ahead and put that down. Okay. And now here's where the rubber meets the road. Are we going We're to, going to do a taste test. Are we doing a taste test? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try the buffalo mozzarella sandwich. I don't know if you can see that or not very well, but I tell you, it looks really, really tasty. Actually, I'm not sure which one of which one's which. Buffalo. Buffalo. Okay. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Nice and creamy. Very creamy. It lends itself well to the to the mm. frying. They go well together. Mm. That is an excellent sandwich. And, Very good. And this is a fried mozzarella sandwich using the buffalo mozzarella cheese. Okay. We, I'm gonna tell you that's try great. The other one? And now we're gonna try the regular mozzarella. Mm. It's going to be hard to beat. Mm. <laughs> Very stringy. And, mm -hmm. You know what? This is not bad. Mm. I mean, definitely I would say the quality of the cheese is not as good as the buffalo. That one is, the buffalo is a lot creamier and milkier. There's got a much more milky taste, I think. I think where I'm at with this, they're both really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could find the buffalo mozzarella, I would recommend going with that. Mm -hmm. However, if you couldn't, you would not be doing it injustice to use the regular mozzarella because they are both really, really good. They're both really, really good. Um, the only major difference that I could detect is that with the regular mozzarella, there's definitely some spongy bits to it. Like it's got more texture to it. The other one is more like a cream. Yeah, I would, I would agree with yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They were both really good. Yep. And I was correct. The American grilled cheese is out the window. <laughs> this is, this is oh, around. I going don't with. know. <laughs> when I want a cheese sandwich, this is where I'm going. A fried mozzarella sandwich as directed by Antonio. Awesome. Thumbs up. Okay, guys, until next time, we'll see you soon. I'd say goodbye, but I'm going to grab another bite instead. <laughs> Bye.